Hey there guys, here's your Dawn Marathon back again and today with my Phoenix 5S Plus review. I try to keep it short but I'm trying to cover all necessary points and it's more or less my opinion, not necessarily a, a scientific review. So here you have the Phoenix 5S Plus. So here we go. First of all, for the looks of this watch, well, in the videos and in the photos it looks big but it's not that big because it's the tiny s version and it is well it is optically um quite small in comparison to the 5 and the 5x or the 6 or the 6x however the downside is this the only downside that this watch is a little bit tiny but you can of course buy some bigger version however the thing is um, I have switched the wristband due to its heavy weight that is one other problem the heavy weight for this tiny 5s version was 65 grams and I switched the 70 gram wristband with a velcro one gram band which fits perfectly around my wrist and is weighing nothing so i have now a total weight of 49 grams instead of 65 that is one trick of mine so it still looks nice but i'm saving tons of weight so the other thing was um just in case you have a certain bank, you cannot access the Garmin Pay. As in my case, I have the DKB bank and it's not in connection, cooperation with the Garmin Pay. They only have Google and Apple Pay. However, that is not a true downside. Now, let's move on to the positive sides of this very watch. This watch is truly having the possibility to offer some nice functions as for example <clears throat> we have the music play the I have tested the music function with my Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth. headphones and it really iPhone. works very nice Midnight. of course the GPS uh, the hour yes. uh, it's lasting only four hours in the music mode but you don't necessarily need to uh, use that during a very long ultra run and the other thing is of course that I'm testing all day uh, the functions of this watch so it's empty after one day but in the normal uh, condition it wouldn't be emptied as quick as it is in my case it would last for a couple of days well, the other thing is um, <clears throat> the watch face is very, very nice. As you can see, I could download my private uh, photos of my Ooh. family and switch Ooh. it. And I can also switch, the, switch the data fields of this watch and <clears throat> have some very, very nice data fields as this one, for example, which I'm going to review real soon. I'm going to do a video only for this data field alone because it's fantastic with 11 different datas well the other thing was let's see the other thing was of course you can use the alarm clock you can uh, connect your smartphone you can have many different things uh, your wallet as i mentioned the music but the best thing is maybe the maps the maps the inbuilt maps which you have to synchronize at the beginning of uh, uh, upon your purchase you have to synchronize them in Garmin Express and you will have some fantastic options of the whereabouts of your current position during your run you can even zoom in to the map and the best thing was that I can actually see not only where I live but I can see the the small paths in the wood when I am uh, no longer sure where I am 
and that is very important because now I can no longer get lost without a cell phone, without the internet. I am having these maps. That is also a fantastic function. Well, besides that, of course, the heart rate monitor is not as precise and it's not unexpected because with a, a heart rate strap you have a more precise uh, data of course but it's okay it's okay because I am trying to get rid of it as much weight as possible so with regard to that it's okay the training status is showing you whether you are productive unproductive whether your fitness uh, level is uh, down uh, pointing up or staying at the level uh, level shape and the load the training load is also being shown how much you have trained for the week that is also a very nice feature because you need to know whether you are over training or not my vo2 max is quite okay right now the recovery time and here you have the training load over the past six uh, seven days that is also nice Okay, uh, feature the race predictor of course the last sport your steps the barometer music the weather forecast yes daily and over the next four days sunset twilight zone well this watch is certainly a great great asset for any runner who is looking to have all the necessary data and not necessarily carrying his own smartphone and it's not the most expensive because it's the 5s plus and not the 6x plus which only has the uh, difference that it can measure the oxygen levels and um, which is unimportant if you're not a climber and the other thing was that you can have the Strava Live segments and that Pace Pro uh, strategy, which is not better than my data field, which I have downloaded uh, via Garmin IQ Connect. And I'm going to make a review on that data field alone. So stay tuned for this Phoenix 5S Plus, your Dawn Marathon. Peace out and bye-bye. Bye-bye.